Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenos Nauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough of Commander Difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty in the game. Time to continue our uh, strife towards the end game, which soon should be completed. It is definitely a hard ride and we uh, got one further destroyer down. It's more and more UFOs are coming. But we have found out a cheeky little trick uh, with uh, apparently missiles only for now since our phantoms are well strong enough to to fight against the the enemies at least not if they're not on full health so really what we're doing is we're flying in and we're shooting down ufos then we're flying back getting new missiles rinse and repeat until they are finally down thanks to the new uh, fusion warheads I think is what we've got uh, that actually works relatively fast but now we are disposing the um, dragonfly one with 12 of the finest soldiers we're since uh, some of our prime team is still uh, very much healing we're bringing King Jobby and Wurstabob uh, with us as well a few of uh, the team uh, have been hit and are at two-thirds of the hit point but that's fine it's good enough so let's deploy and hopefully we reduce panic in africa a bit more let's go commence tactical battle good we landed time to die for the Xenos, of course, not for the Xenonauts. <laughs> Lots of aliens. Suppressed, moving in. Full auto, bringing him to another suppression. Uh, I don't know if we want to charge up. I think it's better to not do that. We're much better off. Just trying to get this guy down. One. Two. And he has fallen unconscious. Oh, look at you. One shot. And he's down very well. Moving up, three potential hits. Zero takes a shot, but misses. Tony, dear Tony. Tony takes a good shot. Nice little hit. Well done, Tony. And the G, the Godfather.
I still hit. Where's the boat? Oh, misses. Now nah, we're conquering down. The G is like Warren G. He regulates. He just gets them all down. Stunned for another 17. I'm not even sure how, how much more this sector can take. And we're healing minor damage, or maybe these are the hit points that the guys are getting as part of their combat experience. Okay, well, so far we've landed. And normally the first few rounds are incredibly fierce battle. It seems that this has become much, much better lately. Can't get there and uh, shoot them down. One unconscious, no, dead, unfortunately. Removal of cover, very nice. Good, shooting left and right. We're just opening the entire map here. Zoe moves up. Aziza moves up. And we're just removing cover, really. Yeah, the lasers are better. Definitely better at removing cover. The G moves over immediately kills that guy. Okay, good turn. And that is kids why we are always removing 
any form of cover and vision blockade. It's just easier to do it that way instead of trying to guess where the enemy might be. Good, Kobe took some damage, but 10 is not really a lot. Good, that sector is immediately unconscious, which is great. We're healing Kobe. Basically takes the other side. And as you can see, without the walls, we do have a really decent uh, view. Missing the view down here. Gotta be a bit careful. Good, we're going to open that wall next turn. Move up and get a good fire line going. And I think we need a bit more support on this side. Also to really get uh, rid of the cover. The G takes some cover on his own and we're good to go. Should have hungered him down and looked into this direction. Now the cool part about shields is they do have a 45 degree a grace angle, so to speak. So anything that comes from a 45 degree angle will go and uh, hit the shield. Let's say if someone would come from here, that unfortunately would not work. So really what we want to do is kind of always be at an angle like this, for instance. Good, we're slowly moving forward. In the meantime, Zoe. Fire 
finds herself up here. There is definitely someone there. Nick Nick the party snack. Moves up with her pistol overwatch. Tony takes the high ground as well. Pistol hunker down. And Dilly G moves up. Because snipers and high ground are a great combination. Let's hope that the rooftop is not collapsing. <laughs> that little bugger. Well, that was a mistake, my friend. I think he just killed the civilian, right? Or did we lose someone? No, I did not place anyone there. Yeah, that's the civilian. Well, unfortunately my dear friend we did have a huge stun baton in our hands but we're looking in this direction which means shots from here and here would be fine now let's maybe look in this direction Okay, found ourselves a bad boy. Billy G takes a shot, but it is not successful. Continues to move up. Okay, cool. Tony moves up beforehand. Can't even take a shot. Good, we're moving in further. I think we had another sniper somewhere. Back here, zero. It was very much covering our back. Nah, I think we're good. We do have a shield. That should absorb most of uh, the damage. Uh oh. This guy do have an aim bonus now.
but even with an aim bonus they are still getting absolutely decimated Our overwatches are so on point. I love to see it. Triple hit. There we go. Good, one, two, I think we're good. Move up. Okay, our other sniper, Zero, might just want to get upstairs. And Jim hunkers down, moves up, uh, moves over to the UFO. Next up, we're going to invade the UFO, I think, pretty much done here on the outside that is there's plenty of movement happening on the inside Good. We're putting one sniper at least over here so that we do have a very clear line of sight. Epi moves over. King Cobra moves over. Wurstabot moves over. Aziz Alder Tri moves over and we slowly but surely going to invade. Let's explode uh, the front door soon ish but I would like to get everybody into a better position and so far it worked out very well whenever an alien came out they immediately regretted their life choice so here's the thing we don't have a lot of ammunition on the grenade throw left but we also don't need a lot because from now on, all of the rest will not require a grenade thrower.
shields move forward she moves up so we move some and uh, we're taking a sniper Uncle Nuber moves up. Dilly moves down for better aiming angles. So far, none of the enemies dare to come out. There we go. Our sniper is in position or heavy laser not yet so we need to change that all right enemy spotted i like it let's suppress him Moves in, moves in, and we're good. Oh, that was a mistake, my friend. This here is a complete kill zone at the moment. Interesting. Um, how? How? There is solid wall in the way. You you are aware that there is a wall, right? Okay. Apparently, we have left the realm of the terrestrial. We are now truly in the extraterrestrial eat this and be suppressed uh, we need to get some healing force the book moves over heals others down Okay, well that doesn't work out very well. Let's try removing the walls. Okay.
for whatever reason we can simply shoot through that particular uh, through that particular piece I don't know maybe never existed in the first place but yeah it was definitely shoot through and we got hit in the back the only reason why I didn't throw a flashbang right off the bat was because I thought you know what there's no line of sight they definitely need to fix uh, that it's incredibly frustrating if you're just getting shot through the uh, through the wall Good after action report. We got a couple of wounds here. King Jove is out for a while. And the rest just got stronger and stronger. And you can see the new recruits get a lot of additional points. The older ones, Zoe for instance, <laughs> gets nothing. But she almost has everything at 100 anyway, so no point in being stronger than that I did not check how many I did not check how many um, aliens we were capturing but I think we had a couple of them good surgical center that is now done which is great. Let's see what the surgical center does. 2.5 healing. So survival chance went up by 10%, which is great. And 3.5 uh, hit points per day. That is good. Also actually quite good. Yeah. Trainings rate 11 seems to be the maximum that we could get. And if you just look at the stats, even the newcomers, I mean, some of them were not so good, but the newcomers now are working quite well. Yeah, we did not have a super recruit in here. We're making more money. The question is, should we invest it into something else? I'm already starting with the um, with the actuaria module. That is good. A little bit better weapons. That's fine. Advanced med kit. I think armor is the next one that that we really need. Of course, the big one is reinforced plating, right? For 750 grand. The fusion grenade wouldn't be bad either, but I think, if anything, the exosuit armor, I would put a couple more in there. Just double checking our aircraft. Currently we're using the fusion missiles, but I want to, once uh, once we're back at 100%, I actually want to switch to our normal weapons. And besides, I think yeah, having a good combination Three of the normal ones and one heavy torpedo seems like a good um, a good compromise. We definitely next uh, next infusion with money. We definitely need more air superiority. Oh, and greater scanning range. I forgot about that. Cool. We got the actu uh, actuator module. So let's see if that works as intended. So say K Felix Koch, who always had a problem with um, carrying stuff. 
all of a sudden becomes like monstrously strong and can even carry that. That's not bad. With it, we are getting more armor from the alloy plates. That's good. And once his strength actually increases, he can carry even more. Might even be a thought if we're putting kind of the automated modules onto everyone because they are just better than the med kits. 200,000, um, we have advanced med kits, okay. Of course, sniper rifle, we're going to do that next. We didn't want a pistol. Look, we could uh, do two further armor productions. I think that's a good one. And one more stun baton. Good sniper rifle is done. And we also got an advanced med kit. We're actually getting quite a few funds from uh, from the from the researchers. Putting a few more stun batons in for the faster characters is good. Um. I like the idea of an electroshock rifle as well just to just to stun more enemies but I think overall we will need the upgrades more fusion uh, grenades for 300 is great the buzzer jetpack is absolutely fantastic and exosuits are needed as well so that'll be good we do have great weapons that's not the problem i think we're okay ish with the phantom interceptors just need to and they do have more armor now just need to help them a bit more so base upgrades definitely would be helpful and maybe one more phantom like what are they Doing, they have 15 armor, which is okay. Good, and this guy is slowly getting back into uh, onto track as well. So we're just putting more. Uh, cannon hard points in. I like that. Maybe for one of them, for the big boys, we're going to get like a one armor reduction that immediately um, will reduce a lot of armor, which is helpful for us. Yeah, and the three of them should be a deadly squad. Soon we're going to get more money. We're investing into more exosuits because I think they are going to be a game changer for us.
and let's launch interceptors and see if 300% armor, almost full health, interceptors with the best weapons and just one of those torpedoes will do the trick. I expect nothing less than an absolute annihilation of the UFO. Elsewise, I can only come to the conclusion that uh, air combat is somewhat ba uh, busted. So, three phantoms. Let's go, boys. And since this guy can't turn around very well. It's actually not a bad idea. Okay, yes, 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 that's what I was thinking about. Lost some armor and some health, but we basically got a big fat abductor down and that will allow us to get even more resources. So out of curiosity, captured Scion. Yes. Might as well remove all of uh, the defender armor. That was uh, the lowest armor set. Okay, so in terms of in terms of soldiers, let's see what we're dealing with. I think everybody is back in action, right? Force Bob on a sign for now. You can continue to train. the realm comes back JP Pauly comes back and Felix Koch thank you for your service but your strength still sucks so we're getting Anders here good the full A team is available Polly to the front line. In the meantime, everybody just has so much accuracy. I think we're going to give her a shield. And Enders will actually be a heavy good so as you can see we already have almost everything nicely upgraded exosuit armor beautiful jp Pauly has plenty of plenty of options here Forty armor, mm. chef kiss. That's what I like to see. And a lot of grenades. Yeah, and he is fast on top of it. Time units a hundred and seven, thanks to the exosuit. Exosuit armor. 
melee weapon. Wait a second, did Paulie get... No, we didn't even give him that. There we go. Oh, I see how it is. So if you're near 100 strength, it will only boost you to a hundred strength. So unless in in Aziza's case it is good, it is very good, but in Pauli's case it's really not needed. Good. Shattered Realm, for instance, only said that it is weaker is strength with this uh, thing here. That is a problem of the past. Gets auto healing. Just like everyone. I wonder if we still should have like one dedicated medic epi, for instance. I think that's not a bad idea. Hmm, look, secondary. We don't have a lot that we could put here into the secondary. I think what we could actually do is let them, the two assaults, be moving medics just in case if something is needed. Put this in, put a couple of flashbangs in. Good, same ordeal here. Put all of the modules in. I actually like the idea almost of making them self-sufficient. Look at that, that's, that's a really good combination. We're not losing anything, but they still can heal and top up if needed. I think that's a good combination. That is definitely a nice do. What I will say though is also Shattered Realm gets the nice little exosuit. <laughs> it just makes him even faster. No, 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 no. We're going to go with Guardian Armor. We're cool. And the person that always has problems with carry weight. Uncle Nuber, the Gren Grenadier. That's the one. Well, well, what are we going to do here? I think a little bit less armor. And we're go uh, golden. The higher accuracy would be helpful. Hmm. You know what? Effort. I'm used to grenades that are not hitting. So that at least we have 12 grenades. That's good. Heavy armor, um, and by thinking about it, I mean, I 
I'm asking myself, do we want the combination of laser? I think it's not a bad combo overall. As a secondary weapon. Sometimes these guys just don't have the necessary action points for the heavy weapon. Might as well take a lighter one as a backup. Widowmaker. I think that's a perfect loadout. Good. Zero. Zero has a problem with strength, so this will actually be a huge imp uh, quality of life improvement for him. That's a decent start. We got some smoke grenades. And what else do we need? Is the reload? No. Sniper, maybe on later missions. Good. The only thing that I can really see that we definitely want to upgrade are these beautiful, beautiful Exosuit armors. They are just so good. And whilst we are admiring them, let's maybe think about building one more, just like that. Stun batons are also good, but the execute armors are actually really, really good. And this is enough time to just have the reset, at which point we then need to anyways think about what else we need. I think the aircrafts now, what I've seen, are doing quite well. The reinforced plating is a big one, so I want that. Fusion grenades, I would like to see how they perform. Far greater damage, so that's good. Although we're not using a lot of grenades, to be fair. So maybe we're just going with... Three, four, five, seven more of them is seven hundred thousand. Seven fifty for the extra, uh, for the extra uh, reinforced plating. One point five mil. It's not a lot uh, left over then afterwards. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Anyways. That gets us to the end of today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Appreciate your viewership. And uh, if you like Xenonauts too, leave a comment and a like down below. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.